We are live at the Metrodome in Minneapolis for a great NFC Central Division matchup. Two playoff teams last season looking for more this season. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Very Both nice. feeling pretty good. Brad Johnson on first down from the 43. Swings it out to Charles Evans, the fullback. Breaks a tackle. Wrestle down inside the 45. Jeff Gooden from the Bucks 45. Palmer remains in as the lone setback. Everybody out. Johnson going deep left side for Jake Reed. And he ran into the defender, Charles Mincy. The flag goes down. And it looks to be against the Bucks. Johnny Greer will fill us in. We have multiple fouls on the play. Pass interference, number 22, defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number 47, and number 55, defense. Taking the helmet off. Both penalties will be enforced. Nobody left in the backfield. He's in motion. Everybody's going. Johnson throws. Touchdown, Vikings. Chris Carter with his 90th career touchdown. He is fourth in NFL history. Short drop, the pump fake. Over the middle, short and complete to Allstock. Fumble, Vikings have it. Watch him drift out, has the ball, and a great gang tackle and knocks that ball out of there. Instead, he used to play quarterback. He said, I got to play safety to get in the game, so he gave up being a quarterback at Stanford. Johnson on second down. Short to Robert Smith with room. Cross midfield. In motion, Andrew Glover. Sprint out by Johnson, deep down the left sideline for, for Moss. He juggles, he's got a touchdown! This is Randy Moss. A little fake inside, back outside, and Donnie Abraham's got a chase, and the ball's thrown behind him, and he pulls it in, Sam. Third and one. Rhino backfield with two tight ends. Hallstatt has stopped short, trying to get away. First down, Vikings defense comes up big. Watch all the collisions right here. And the Vikings, they're in a blitz. Wow, there's all kinds of smacking. Lorenzo Neal running right into everybody. Good gang tackling, good swarming by the Vikings. But the Vikings defense comes up, stops the Bucks, and Michael Husted will attempt a 41 yarder on the hole of Barnhart. It is wide to the right. No good. Three wide receivers, David Palmer in motion. And the play outside of Randy Moss is good for a first down. This but time they went short to Moss on the out pattern. He wants to run the football, and that's great to hear a quarterback. He wants balance. On third and four, Johnson looking. Complete to Carter. First down, Vikings. He can get the run going. Three wide receivers, Smith in the lineup. Comes out of the backfield, but the deep throw for Randy Moss. Brad Johnson has a new best friend, and he wears number 84. Randy Moss will be Brad Johnson's friend for about 10 years. Down by 21. It's fourth and three at the 14. Dilfer incomplete, intended for Bert Emanuel. And again, the Vikings defense comes up big. The Vikings head to the locker room with a 21 to nothing lead. On the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Visa halftime report next. Two tight ends in. Rhino backfield on third and two. Flag goes down. Dilfer throwing to Lorenzo Neal. And let's check out the flag. He goes in for the touchdown. We'll see what the flag is. The penalty is declined. Dilfer's down. 57. They're all looking at Rudd. Third and 12. Walsh for Hunter. And it's wrestled away by Jimmy Hitchcock. Across midfield. A chance to go. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. He'll be off to this side. Watch to the left of your screen. Look at him drive in there and pull that ball oh, away. Oh, man. Strong play. 38-yard return for Jimmy Hitchcock. Three wide receivers. David Palmer, the lone setback. On third down. Johnson with time deep in the end zone for Carter touchdown 
Once the quarterback scrambles, you've got to cover your baseline. That's called the baseline. Mm. Wow. Threw it over the top of Floyd Young and got over there behind John Lynch. And Brad Johnson ties his best day yep. as a pro. For Randy Moss, what a brilliant debut in the NFL. Four catches, two for touchdowns, and some just beautiful catches. Well, we may be looking at the rookie of the year. And it's early to say that after one game, but I don't see how his skills are ever going to diminish. And with Brad Johnson throwing the football, it's going to be hard for him not to be a big factor in the league. Good start for Dennis Green and the Minnesota Vikings.